Hello everyone. My name is Andrea Adarve from Miniland Educational. I want to give thanks to Kaplan for giving me the opportunity today to speak to you all about the importance of social and emotional learning in early childhood. Miniland is a company based in Spain where our designers and our manufacturing team is consistently working year after year on producing high quality educational toys with the goal and the mindset of making teachers' lives easier in the classroom. We're always trying to find the trends and the challenges that teachers are encountering and the pains that they have. So we ensure that we create products that will make their lives easier. We have uh, toys in many different categories. However, our passion and our strength are on those toys focused on social and emotional learning. Recognizing one's emotions is a crucial part of daily life and one of the most important skills a child should learn. When children learn how to express and understand their emotions and the emotions of others, it helps them better navigate situations they are dealing with, both the good and the bad situations. Today, I'm going to share with you two of my favorite social and emotional intelligence toys from our collection of many other toys that we have. The first one up is our emoji box. These are nice, bright, colorful blocks called our emoji box. They're part of our emoji box family. These are by far the most loved products by our customers and our team. They're nice and chunky. They're large, so they're large enough for children as young as 18 months to play with them. As you can see, an 18 month will probably an 18 month old will probably not understand the full educational factor of it. However, it's perfect for role playing and active play and pretend play. And my two year old, for example, loves to play with these characters. Now, as you can see, they have two different skin tones. We have three different hair colors and we have hairstyles for both boys and girls. So children can put together boy and girl emoji blocks. At Miniland, one of the values that we really try to instill in many of our toys are the values of diversity, tolerance, and inclusion. And you will see that throughout many of our products. That is why we have different skin tones, different hair colors, and you will see this in emoji blocks and many of our other products as well. We want to have toys that will allow children to feel like they belong, identified with, and even those children that probably live in not so diverse communities, they can accept and acknowledge the diversity that exists in the world. So let me go ahead and show you what the emoji blocks are and how do we play with them. Each emoji block has an emotion painted on their face. We have the sad emoji block. angry emoji block, the sad one fell, surprised emoji block, happy emoji block, how we all wish to be, the bored emoji block, and the scared emoji block. The game also comes with six double-sided flashcards. On one side of the card, you have the image of a real child expressing that emotion. As you can see, it also comes in six different languages. So it's a perfect item to also teach about language or perfect for those multilingual children. On the flip side of each card, the child has to identify which emoji block actually matches the image that is of the child with that emotion. Once they identify on the card, which is the correct emotion, they then go ahead and match it with that emoji block. Now I do have to acknowledge the current pandemic situation. And these emoji blocks are a great tool to help children understand the situation and many of the feelings that they are feeling. So with the situation, Children, I'm sure, have already asked you why they cannot go outside, 
why they cannot go to school, play with their friends, go to birthday parties. Basically, their whole routines and lives have changed. With that, many emotions will come into play, sometimes many emotions at one single time, and that can be manifested by whining, overstimulation, um, boredom, tantrums, lashing out, clinginess, etc. So here we have the opportunity as parents or as teachers to talk through these emotions and explain to them why they are feeling that way, take the opportunity to explain to them the, situ the situation, and that way they will better understand and be able to manage how they're feeling because they will understand the why. The why is so important for them to know and understand because it will allow them to identify what that emotion is and know how to manage it in case they feel that emotion in the future. For example, how would you use that emoji block to explain to them how they are feeling? You can ask them today, please choose the emoji block that best shows how you are feeling. And they may decide, and choose the sad emoji block, for example. Then you can go ahead and ask them, why did they choose that emoji block? Tell me, why are you sad? Try to understand how to go outside and play. So this is the opportunity to actually explain to them why they're feeling, tell them that it will be okay, this shall pass, and maybe engage them in something else so they can overcome the sadness and maybe get them motivated and excited about something else, potentially to make them happy. This can also be a great opportunity for them to understand how other people are feeling in their family or the people around their household. You can ask them to choose which emoji block they feel their mommy is feeling, their daddy, their sisters, their brothers, their grandparents, etc., and ask them why they chose that emoji block. You as a parent can also choose which emoji block you are feeling. You can say, for example, today I'm feeling frustrated, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling scared and explain to them why. Explain to them that the fact that you have to multitask, do your household chores, work from home, teach your children from school, it's all adding stress that is making you feel scared or is making you feel si sad or tired. So it's a great opportunity to teach them about many of the emotions that they may be feeling for the first time. Remember, your little ones are still learning and this situation is probably giving them new emotions that they had not felt or had to deal with in the past. I'm going to take the opportunity to now show you another one of my favorite toys. Our emotions detective. The emotions detective, just like our emoji blocks, they both come in a nice handy little briefcase that opens up and is perfect for easy storage and to keep your home tidy, like we all wish we had uh, in these days of stay-at-home orders. The components, this is a toy to be played with the child and the parent and the child and the teacher. This is not a toy to be left for your child to play on their own. It's an educational toy. You wanna teach them something. The components are a spinning wheel and the spinning wheel includes four scenarios where the children might be um, exposed to school, the city or their town, home, and the park. You will then have cards, many cards for each scenario. So this is the home. We have cards for the city, cards for the school, and cards for the park. Okay. You get a set of magnifying glasses, small enough for little one's hands, and a series of small stars. So how does this, this game work? This game can be played with just one child, but it can also be played with two to four children as well in a classroom setting, for example. The children will take turns spinning the wheel, okay? They will spin the wheel, and they will choose the card on the scene on which this lands on. In this particular case, we see that the spinner has landed on the park. So they go ahead and they choose the park scene. Now, what are they going to do? Normally on the scenes, there will be either a child misbehaving, doing something they should not be doing, and the child has to explain and verbalize what they are seeing in that scenario. They then have to talk out what will be the correct behavior or what will be the solution or what will be the right thing to do. 
Okay, so let's take this card, for example, that I just pulled out at random. This is in the park. We see that there's a, there are two children in a sandbox. One of them has the sand toys, and the other one apparently wants to take away the sand toys and play with them. Obviously, the other one is angry, is frustrated, take the opportunity to talk about the feelings and that the emotions that the children are feeling in this scenario. So the child would go ahead and explain in their own words the scenario and the scenes. Then they have to talk it out with their parent or the teacher, what will be the right solution or right, the right action, the positive thing to do. Okay, now remember each scene could have many different solutions as well, not just one. So this is the fun part. You flip over the card and this is where children get to play detective. They take the magnifying glass and they have to slowly go through the card and try to decipher what the solution is, okay? So here you can see that they are sharing the sand toys and they're playing and they're both happy. Again, you're expressing the emotions, you are talking out the solution. If the parent or the teacher says that they did the correct solution and they understand the situation, that child gets a star. Then you can take turns with many children, like I mentioned before, and the one with the most stars will be the winner of the game. Again, these are just two of our social and emotional toys out of the many toys that we have in this collection. It is our passion, like I said, we, we really truly believe that this is a very important topic in the early childhood education. The sooner the children understand and know how to manage their emotions, the better they will be prepared to face any type of situation that they may encounter in any place in their society, at school, at home, outside, anywhere where that may be. We also have to take advantage of the situation where we're living in and take the opportunity to slow down and talk to your children, explain to them why, have them understand why you are feeling this way. Why are they feeling this way? And explain to them all the many different emotions that they can be encountering for the first time. Again, I wanna thank Kaplan for giving me the opportunity to talk to you today and give you a brief glimpse at some of our best-selling products. Hopefully, if you'd like to learn more, you can visit their website and find out more mini land toys. I hope everyone stays safe and I wish everybody a great day. Thank you.